Okay, so I just treated my bees here uh, and we had to treat them because they carry mites and this this is during the year of 2021 let you know that that we treat quite a bit the bees need to be treated just because of the mites because of viruses and they never leave them we're working on that, trying to get rid of mites and viruses, but that, that's not what's going on now in my neck of the woods. So these hives here are, are expanding. If you see here, I cannot open them up, but they're expanding. You see here, they're growing. Probably some of the brood has uh, has hatched. Yeah, so there's a lot of bees here. A lot of them coming back from, as you know, from uh, trying to find nectar, food for their hive. So I have three hives here, and these three hives came from that hive. Yeah, watch it, they really run around. This hive here. So that hive made those three hives. Okay? So that's how it started. And this hive came from Sonoma, from another location. And I was able to uh, multiply them. And that's what it's about. It's about multiplying your, bee, your bees, Rearing queens and uh, learning a skill. So now I'm a beginner commercial beekeeper. Everybody wants to know, and I'm very new at it. But I've been at the deal with bees for the last ten years or more now. Let's say twelve. In those twelve years, I've developed a skill not to give up, to keep going and thriving about bees. So now I, I've learned quite a bit about bees. And I'm still learning, but now I have this commercial edge that I have. I have this commercial training that I have. It's able to take me from, from stage one to stage 10. And that's be able to have bees during the winter because I'm preparing these bees for the winter time, just for the winter. And they will grow during the winter. Now there's different seasons in different places. And these we're getting ready for our January season so we can get some nectar coming in. But we gotta build them good and build them strong and healthy. And that's what we're doing. And that's what you're seeing, a development of bees, healthy bees being born from their brood. And they're also outside because we did treat them uh, with Formic, uh, Formic Pro. 
know it's real noisy out here, but this is where my part of the woods is, not too far from the road here. So about bees. So when you're a beginner and you want to start out, it's really good to get a mentor. If you don't get a mentor, it's kind of tough to really be in the bee business, even to learn about bees, because you got to see a lot of bees, lots of bees. Not two hives, three hives. We're talking 18, 20, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, you know, to get a good grasp of what's going on with the bees. My arm hurts right now. I'm holding a, a GoPro, but I never held it this long. So, sorry. So, to develop your skills, you're going to have to find someone to show you about bees. So you could not make the mistakes that they made and you can get really on your own about how you think you should do it when you learn the basics. Now, I wanna bring you back and show you some honey frames that I got from my honey makers. I have two hives that are, they're large and they're honey makers. Uh, they have a lot of bees and we'll be right back and I'll show you them and show you some honey frames. All right. And then she made a, she made a, like a, a whole thing, right? No, no. no. Feel it starting to come out a little bit. Another bee. So I show you a little film about the bees. And you notice that the bees are coming in and bringing in pollen. This is September 1st, 2021. And we're seeing a lot of activity here with our bees. And we're finding that they're coming in with pollen. And that's what they're doing. Bringing in pollen and hopefully surviving. Hopefully they'll get through the winter with me. Well, I'm Antonio, your host here on YouTube, and we're trying to figure out how much sugar water they're gonna need because of this drought. The drought's really, really a pain, really a pain for farming, because we have the uh, Dixie Fire, and then we have also Lake Tahoe. That's bringing that, no sun. So the bees are right now going out, finding pollen, I guess locally around here. I gotta figure where they're getting their pollen from, but uh, I have to work on that. That's botany, as you know. But uh, I'm trying to figure it out, and I'm just taking notes here, my book, um, so I can keep track of this yard. This yard has about 16 hives, uh, and we're producing honey here. And that's what the big hive is, the one that you see there. And we're producing honey there. That's my home there. And, uh, that's what we're doing here. So we have more hives, another location. We got one hive at the farm where I showed you. And then I'm gonna show you some, some honeycomb that we got from that big hive there. I'm gonna do that shortly here. And that small hive that I show you with the entrance reducer on there is where all the pollen's coming in. It's yellow, the yellow pollen. 
must be a California plant that's native to here that's helping us out. But they need pollen to grow to make the queen, I mean, help the queen grow as far as laying eggs and she needs pollen. Pollen is important to uh, building brood. I did put pollen patties in here, but now they're bringing in pollen. Then I have another location where it's a spa. I gotta get the name of the spa. They changed it. Uh, they changed the name. And I'm gonna give you that name. And I have about two hives here, and we gotta work on them too. We gotta feed those hives. Gotta feed the one over there at Savannah's farm. It's a 10 acre farm. And here at my other small yard here, we're trying to feed them here too. And uh, they just keep getting resources, and then they don't need my resources. So it's up and down. Uh, say they find things, they don't eat nothing. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to get used to YouTube. I tell you, it's not easy doing YouTube, but I'm learning. Uh, looking at a hive that I put together. It's a small hive. Been having problems with trying to keep other bees out. So I made the entrance a little bit more harder for the bees, for intruders to get in. So they're in front of the hive, protecting the hive. I don't see any pollen coming in. I'm just curious what happened. I don't want to open up the box because it just might stimulate them more and make them more angry and aggressive. Take a look. Now, I hope there's no robbing happening here. We made a small entrance for them so they can fight off their intruders. Now, we're hoping that this will work out, hoping that these bees will survive and thrive, or they'll lose their home from other bees. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we have a hive here that we're looking at here. It's this one here. This one had uh, a lack of bees, and it looks like there's bees in there. But I don't know if the queen's still doing good or the hive is collapsing. I'm not sure, but we're going to take a look at it. But I can't take the frames out now because we just treated these bees, all these bees. So we're going to look right here and see what's going on inside. So we're building up the yard so we can have honey production here. But we're lacking bees in here, and uh, um, a little difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and look in here now. I'm feeding this hive, and it's a real small hive. I did a split. Uh, this, these hives are from Chico. Not all of them. Well, all the bees, but we got. Um, these are from Chico, and then the queens are from uh, Redding. So this is what's going on here. Little patties, little retreat. Let's see, let's see what's going on. This happens, you know, you, sometimes uh, you don't 
some hives don't make it. It's just the, the way bee life is. So. Well, welcome to the beginner commercial beekeeper program. I'm the beginner bee. I am uh, trying to uh, see if I guess this hive is done. Didn't make it. Uh, there must be a queen here. I'm not sure if she's here. If she is, I'll just kick her out. Mm -hmm. well, look at that. Uh, uh, bees are not taking care of anything here. So this hive here is yeah. it's just didn't make it. The queen didn't get made it or something here. So I'm going to look for her. I can, if she's here. I don't see a queen. So let's... That is pretty much done. There go the queen right there. You can see her right here. Uh, I'm gonna keep them here. I guess that's all I can do. And they don't just keep feeding her. She's in here. Uh, and I'm going to run a split on this. Uh, and see if... Um, yeah, I'm going to run a split on this. She's in here. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can split her. I got two more queens coming in. Should have enough resources to make another split, so three splits possibly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and feed this. to ride around a little bit here. Uh, taking some time off here. Got some bee work to do soon. Just uh, getting my thoughts together riding around and uh, around this area here. Uh, Russian River area. These are the trails out here that you can see. So uh, I'm going to be riding with you guys coming along with me and uh, let's go have some fun. All right. Put some bees over here, you know. Yeah. Ah, good, good place to be. Let me tell you. Put them in the back over there, too. See them, you know? Down 
California, man, you can go from a uh, city right to the country. It's just, it's, it's that easy. You go from city to country just like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, you know, I gotta shoot to the end of here. Is that a little fun? You come along with the ride. What the heck, right? Got nothing else to do. Come on and hang out with me. All right. So, uh, I gotta take off here with my foot up here. So let's go. I got the little snow There we go. The people kind of cut around the area here. You notice they chopped the trees. It's much cleaner here than before. There used to be a lot of brush over here. They cleaned it all up. You look up here, you even got water up there for storage. So pretty much out here in Northern California, people are cleaning up their areas. They're realizing that, you know, it does cause more fires and you don't have a bumper. You don't have a bumper, you know, and go right through the your house. So, you know, we're all going through this right about now. But let's go ahead and head out. So I got this tilted backwards so that it doesn't drip. Yeah. But then when I tighten it, I tilt it forward. You gotta remember not to grab this thing. Can I use this hat? 